Hey everyone, it's Billy Bross here from the Homebrew Academy and I'm reviewing the Spital Fermenter. I got this from More Beer uh, a little over a year ago. I've been using it for over a year now, so I have a pretty good idea of what its strong points are and I'll also tell you the couple things that I don't like so much about it. So let's get into it. So these are German made fermenters and they come in all different sizes. This one is 30 liters, which works out to 7.9 gallons. And then there's also a smaller version and these are the two most common ones that homebrewers use. And that smaller version is 5.3 gallons. I really like the 30 liter version because yeah, I do five gallon batches, but I normally transfer five and a half gallons into the fermenter to wind up with five gallons in the keg or the bottles. So, you know, when I transfer five and a half in here and I get a, a big blow off, maybe I'm brewing a, a Belgian ale that goes crazy, it's really nice to have the extra headspace in here. So I think this is a really good size for five gallon batches. You could go with the 5.3 gallons, but it's gonna get a little bit tight. The one good thing, if you are doing that, is that the airlock is freaking huge. So this thing is not going to clog easily. And I'll show you more of uh, these accessories in a minute. So uh, what I really like about this, uh, the number one thing I like about this is how easy it is to clean. It's just a dream to clean this compared to you know most carboys, uh, glass or plastic with the tiny little necks. Look at the wide mouth on this thing. So it's super easy to reach in there and, and get off any gunk. Now it is plastic, so you want to be careful. You don't want to use a, a brush or anything and you want to be careful not to scratch it. Uh, so I recommend using a, a sponge or even a microfiber cloth to get in there and scrub it. But uh, the large uh, mouth opening is, in my opinion, the number one feature about this thing. The other really awesome thing about this is the plastic. The plastic is HDPE plastic and it's really heavy duty stuff. When you get this, you're not going to open up the box and think to yourself, oh man, this is just a, a crappy product, crappily made, the, the plastic is low quality. Exactly the opposite. You're going to get it and think, man, this, this plastic is awesome. It's really heavy duty stuff. It just feels like it's well made and it's going to hold up to the beating it could take during your home brewing. Uh, and it's really lightweight too. And it has these fantastic handles. Again, you want to be able to trust any handles you have on your fermenter. The last thing you want to do is to drop it or have your handles break and you get beer everywhere. But these things are really heavy duty and it just makes it super easy to carry the fermenter around. And it's also really lightweight too. Even though it's a bigger fermenter, it's eight gallons, so bigger than most carboys that people are using, uh, the, the plastic itself doesn't add much weight at all to the weight of the fermenter. So now onto the accessories. We have the lid for this thing. So this has two pieces to it. It has this outer threaded ring and then this inner portion. So it goes like that. And then uh, I like how there's a rubber O-ring here on the inner portion. So you get a, a good seal. So you stick that on there and then it screws right onto the top like that. And then I mentioned the airlock. It's got this huge airlock. So yeah, it's not gonna clog easily. And uh, it's three pieces. It's got that top portion and then a stopper to it here. <clears throat> and that goes right in there. And then it's even got a port on the bottom, right there. So what you could do if you want is to add the spigot to it. So you can stick this on there and it makes it super easy to transfer your beer. You don't need to use a, an auto siphon or a racking cane. Just hook up some tubing. You can use, I usually use half inch inner diameter tubing. You can also use three eighths, but the half inch goes a lot faster. So I like to use that. And you can hook that up and drain this thing in a flash. It doesn't take long at all, just a few minutes. And then you have an option too. You don't have to use the spigot. If you prefer to transfer with a racking cane, you can take this cap that comes with it and stick that on here. So you could do that instead. Now, another cool thing about that, I really like this. These threads are the same sizes on the top here and also uh, on the port. So you can take the cap and put it on top and then have your spigot on the bottom. And I like to do this when I clean and sanitize it. So I'll put some hot PBW in here and obviously I don't want to get sprayed with the PBW. So I'll put the top on it and I'll shake it up like this and I won't get a drop on me. So that's really nice. 
All right, now a couple of things that I don't like so much about it. The plastic is really high quality stuff. It's lightweight, it's super strong, it's HDPE, and you can really tell the difference when you put this next to a better bottle or another plastic carboy that's made usually out of the PET plastic. You can just tell that this is better stuff. But the nice thing about those carboys is that they're clear. And I really like to watch the beer fermenting. It's uh, one of my favorite things about home brewing. And obviously that's not something you can do with this. You can see in here a little bit. You can see sort of the, the shadow of the beer, but you really can't watch what's going on like you can with a, a clear plastic carboy or even a, a glass carboy. So if that's a, a huge deal to you, then, uh, then that might be a reason not to get this. But for me, it wasn't a deal breaker at all. Now just a, another little nitpicky thing about this, the airlock and the stopper, this thing gets stuck in here all the time and it's a real pain in the ass to get out. Uh, so that's kind of a small inconvenience, but it is a drawback of it. But maybe that doesn't happen to everyone, maybe it's just mine for some reason. So those are really the, uh, the only two things I don't like about this. And for that reason, I have so little poor things to say about it that it's really my favorite fermenter now. When I have all my fermenters open and I brew a new beer, this is the one I put my beer into. Now there are still some fermenters I haven't tried yet out there. Still looking forward to trying a, a conical someday and even that stainless steel bucket fermenter they have now. But right now this is my number one. I really like it. I like the plastic and how strong it is. I like the size. I think the size is fantastic. I like how easy it is to clean and how easy it is to transfer beer using the spigot at the bottom. So this comes with a really high recommendation from me. Uh, I recommend if you make five gallon batches, anywhere in that range, you go with a little bit larger size just to give yourself some breathing room. There's really no disadvantages to that. It's kind of like getting a boil kettle. You really never regret going too big with that, but you will regret going too small. So check out the Spital Fermenter. Uh, I love it. It's my favorite right now, and I'm sure you'll love it too.